the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, we wanted to get one here. We're probably going to wind up doing that. Get one here. Cause you I have, should, because you I have, have the sauna. I have two showers, and the, what, the shower next to the sauna is kind of useless. So who uses the sauna here, Jamie? Just me. You don't use the sauna He uses it occasionally. On occasion, yeah, yeah. But I also had a gym I was going to. for. Oh, you do use the that. sauna, though, right? Huh? Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I so, use it every day. I usually use it at home, but sometimes I use it here when I, uh, like, right after workouts. Like, if I work out, I try to get a workout here before, you know, like, uh, before I do podcasts, and I'll time it so that I have an extra hour so I can get in the sauna. That's awesome. Yeah, it makes a big difference for me. But um, I also just, I think it might be a little too much before, like, I'm always trying to regulate how much activity I do with whether or not I'm be exhausted when I do a podcast because uh, I used to do yoga and then I would come out I would get out of yoga at 11 or at 10 30 and I would do a podcast at 12 and I was like Woof, I right. think I better wait till one because I'd just be so because 90 minute yoga classes in 105 degrees is fucking rough it's intense it's rough yeah I've only done Bikram a couple times I would love to like do it more I loved it yeah I really loved it well I would wonder and I know there's there's supposedly some sort of Harvard study that's ongoing right now measuring um, all sorts of markers in people that have done hot yoga and whether or not it mimics heat shock proteins that are created in the sauna because the thing is like you are getting this incredible cardiovascular exercise because your heart's beating like crazy and you know you're not doing cardio per se but your heart rate goes gets jacked because of the heat and the stress totally. and then on top of that even though it's only 105 degrees your body is heating up you're you're really sweating up a storm in there i mean it gets I've taken some friends there that have never experienced it before, and they're like, fucking yoga, come on, bro, yoga. And then they get in there, and then I look over at them 15 minutes, and they're like, fucking A. And I'm like, yeah. It is. I told you. It's not, it's not what you think it is. Because you're doing, like, yoga, even uncoupled from the heat strip, like, the hot part, yoga is, is also, like, it's pretty intense, like, yes. holding those positions and stuff. Yeah. And, like, your heart rate does start to elevate. I mean, it's, like, just from that alone. Adding on the sauna, which mimics moderate physical activity that's been mm -hmm. shown absolutely mimics it and then all the you know studies that have shown that um on top of that i mean that's like it's 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 super intense it's super yeah. intense the gr the really cool thing about and i want to get my mom um i think once we move this on like to our home where it's not like the office like i want to people that are not people that are sedentary and people that are sedentary for whatever reason, maybe they're sedentary because they're disabled or maybe they're sedentary because they've had a lifetime of being sedentary. And it is they, it is just hard to get them motivated to go exercise. Like the sauna to me is like that's so important because it's giving these people a potential cardiovascular workout. No, it is. That's been shown. It's giving them a cardiovascular workout without having to force them to go for a run or go on, to get on a bike. You know, the people think – like when you tell them go sit in the sauna, they think of like a spa. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I want to go do that. You get someone who's like, like my mom, who she's she's sedentary. You know, she's she's not like a physically active person, and she needs to be. Um, but like the sauna, that's that's kind of my goal is to get her doing. And we'll have to start slowly because you have to adapt. Um, you you know, the heat shock proteins help with that. As you the more um, the more times you're exposed to heat stress. And the more adapted you are, like the the heat shock proteins increase quicker, and so it it's part of the adaptation process as well of, of you know being able to handle the heat stress. But like I want to get her to do that because, like any you know any cardiovascular improvement is going to help her mood. It's going to help her her you know all cause mortality. That's been shown. You know four to seven times a week, 40 percent lower all cause mortality. Um, cardiovascular related mortality is fifty percent lower. You know so like I I think that's a really cool thing about the sauna is that you can get people that are disabled people that can't go for a run yeah. you know i mean i still think exercise i mean it's just it's the best thing ever yeah period for everything right you know for everything it's just going to overall improve the way you age and that's going to make you more robust and resilient to anything yeah you know um sauna to me is it, it, it there's so many benefits but one of the big ones is that muscles feel better they feel looser they, they they're not as sore like when i have hard workouts and i get in the sauna afterwards i feel like my recovery is more rapid interesting that's interesting yeah um i because i don't do a lot of resistance training shame on me <laughs> I, I don't I don't have that same perspective, but it 
there there have been studies, at least were localized um, heat on people that had a limb immobilized. I, I don't remember what limb it was, but after a week, um, people that had the heat treatment, local heat treatment, had almost 40 percent less muscle atrophy. And in anim- huge. huge in animal studies. And like I remember I like shared this animal study in an article I wrote years, years ago before the human study came out. And like there were critics. Well, it's animals and blah, blah, blah. You can't say it does this. And I would get on the mechanism. And they showed it was heat shock proteins. And there's all, you know, like and I was so happy when that human study came out. So it's like, told you, <laughs> told you, motherfucker. <laughs> you know, like that's what I wanted to say. <laughs>